In this video, we're going to check out settings in FB Neo. This will involve turning on blood mode and much more. So let's get cracking. So first, let's start up a game in FB Neo. The classic Metal Slug. Some games may not have a diagnostics mode, but this one definitely does and is a prime candidate to faff with. Right now, the bottom of the screen, we can see this is level four, an average difficulty, and instead of blood, we get sweat. Ew. Hold select and push start, we get to the retro arc menu. From here, move down to core options. We have many settings to faff with. But what we need to do is to get into the diagnostic option screen. One way to do that is to go down to dip settings and then toggle the option setting mode. This basically flicks a switch on the emulated board, throwing you into an option screen. So now go to restart and then we're in. Setting up the soft dip gives us access to all the options for the game. So we can change out how many lives we have, difficulty, as well as add blood. On the next page, we also have languages and the selection will depend on which BIOS is selected in the core menu. To save the settings, we back out, hit exit, and then turn off the setting mode again in the RetroArch menu. On resume, the game will restart with settings of your choice. If that setting mode was a bit too faffy, there is another way to get in. Again, in the RetroArch menu, go down to Diagnostic Input, and select an option of your choice. So now go to Hold Select, and when you're in game, Hold Select. Much easier. Another problem we've seen is when you start a game, you get this warning. This is what happens when your ROM is incompatible with the core. And to fix it, we simply change the emulator. So rather than Final Burn Neo, let's use Final Burn Alpha. Um. Uh, that one. Sweaty Slug 2. With... Oh, slow down. But let's see if we can speed it up. In core options, go down to CPU Overclock. And let's change this to 200. That's so much better. But if you want to take this to the next level, we're going to add the Uni BIOS. Again, in the core options, we go down to the Neo Gear settings. And this first option allows us to switch the BIOS. Changing this can give us different languages, but we're going to select the bottom option, Uni BIOS. We can fine tune the version if we go down to dip settings, but it's usually best just to leave it as it is. Then once we back out and restart the emulator, we get Uni BIOS. You can get to the diagnostic screen if you hold A, B and C, or B, C and D before that screen hits. What we're going to do is hold select and push start, and then go to resume. And we get the in-game menu. For Metal Slug, these are mostly cheats, but let's move on to another game now, King of Fighters 2003. In the diagnostic screen, we can actually select Blood Mode On. We can turn off Flash for those with epilepsy, but if we start the game, something is definitely wrong. To fix this game-breaking issue, we can change the BIOS to a country that doesn't have idiot censorship. Alternatively, we could go back to the in-game menu. We can unlock secret characters, enable Bouncy Mai, and Red Blood. Aw, oh, yeah. Busting makes me feel good. 